Cosplay. It's a term that is often mistaken as glorified dressing up, but in this diverse subculture, people dedicate their lives to creating the perfect outfit, showcasing their favourite characters from books, TV shows, movies and anime. Communities come together to immerse themselves with other self-proclaimed nerds and to create relationships that last a lifetime. Together, they communicate ideas, passions and opinions through these obscure wardrobe choices, displaying them at comic conventions and charity events. Cosplayers work for hours on end to create colourful and unique costumes that capture everyone's eye. This is what makes cosplay a wearable art. Cosplay is a way to express my love for the characters, the fandom, and just be crafty about it. Karen is a freelance artist who has recently moved to Melbourne from Croatia. She has been immersed in the cosplay universe since 2011. I have done a few costumes kind of on and off. The first one I did was in 2012. I've loved dressing up since I was a kid, like most kids and definitely most cosplayers. I also LARP, so I dress up as characters that are my original design, so it's kind of just been an ongoing, an ongoing interest of mine for quite a few years now. Cosplay to me means, besides the literal definition of costume play, it means catching up with friends, dressing up as these characters that we absolutely love and bringing them to life and just being able to have fun with it. I started cosplaying about six years ago with a few friends. Uh, they were getting into it and we thought, hey, this could be really fun to cosplay these characters, go to a convention, have a little bit of fun. In the past, I have done a ridiculous amount of cosplays. I think just last year alone, I did close to 20 different cosplays. A fair few anime ones, and a lot of Disney princesses. I moved to Melbourne half a year ago with my partner, basically to start a new life. Why Melbourne? Well, because it's an artistic city. I felt drawn to it with all the academies, all that it has to offer. The reason why I got into cosplay originally is because my friends cosplayed and I thought it was really cool and something really creative and something really fun to do with your time. You meet a lot of people just by talking to them, being like, wow, your costume's amazing, how did you make X, Y, or Z? Or even asking for a photo. But yeah, it's just, it's really lovely. Alex identifies as gender fluid. By definition, this means that they are a mix of the two traditional genders, but may feel more male some days and more female on other days. My gender identity uh, doesn't come into cosplay a lot. I just pick a character that I like and I go along with it. Uh, so generally when it comes to cons, I like to bring like a backup cosplay so that if I get a little dysphoric and I'm not quite feeling the ball gown that I'm wearing, I have a cosplay to change into. Cosplayers work tirelessly to make sure their costumes function properly for a convention. But for Karen and her friends, there have been some malfunctions. There was this one time during a summer post-apocalyptic convention that all the things that were glued on with the hot glue gun started falling apart because the glue, <laughs> glue melted. You had there in the middle of a convention, Furiosa gluing her boots back together because the bullet belt started dropping bullets all over the floor. <laughs> I think a lot of cosplayers can relate to this. You see this character and you're like, I really like this character, I really like the design. It would be interesting to make a fun challenge, really cool to wear. It's like 
seeing something and it's almost like being dared to do it and I think that that's something that I take a lot of inspiration from is just the fun of both making it and wearing it and at the same time for the making of costumes I take a lot of inspiration from a lot of different cosplayers on Facebook, I look at Pinterest, I look at Tumblr, YouTube tutorials, a lot of different more practical resources. A lot of the time people cosplay characters because they're visually appealing, because they really like the character, because it'd be an interesting or fun build to make or like a fun combination of all three. I think seeing what other people can achieve is really inspiring because it allows you to kind of be like, I can do that, it just needs practice and you have to kind of go through a stage of like not being as good as you want to before you can get to being the level of cosplayer that you want to be in terms of sewing, using LEDs, using warbler, all that crazy stuff. I think I take my inspiration from a lot of different places. Cosplay is not entirely fun and games. For Alex, portraying characters for volunteer work comes with its joys and its flaws. A few months ago, I was actually doing a fundraising event for Starlight Week. Me and my friend were dressed as Supergirl and Batgirl, and if you know the characters, uh, you know that they're either in skin-tight clothes or in quite short skirts. So we were having a good day, we are having a dance party out in front of the store, uh, just having fun, and this guy walks past, uh, says, hey, love your costumes, and I go, yep, cheers, thanks. Uh, goes up to the lady on the counter and says, oh, how much for the girls out the front? And she goes, oh, they're, they're not for sale. And he goes, oh, but you'd make a really good bargain out of it. He walked up a bit later, gave us a dollar, which I did really appreciate, but he just kind of leaned over, put it in the jar, and went, you temptationed me. And I was kind of thinking, please leave me alone. You've made me really uncomfortable asking if I was for sale and thinking that I wouldn't hear or mind saying that. And it was just a bit awkward all around and not great for anyone. <laughs> These costumes that have been treated with care and devotion will finally be presented at one of the many comic conventions that are held in Melbourne each year. Thousands of fans come together to photograph, compliment and admire all of the work that has been put into these costumes. With love in every stitch and a story behind each character, attendees take a day to soak in all of the walking artwork on display. I think everything went pretty well. I walked around a lot, had a couple of photo shoots with a couple of friends. I didn't get to the con floor, but that's okay. That's what tomorrow is for. And a lot of people were stood on my cape, but that's okay, because it has like a nice flow to it. I think today went pretty well. It was, I'd say well received, but uh, <laughs> not so much. People were very annoyed with me, but they, they enjoyed it, which was the important part, I think. At the end of the day, these characters return home and resume their everyday lives, all whilst thinking about the wonderful memories that were made as a cosplayer.